According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. If you're not subscribed yet and you enjoy what you see, do consider hitting the subscribe button. This encourages YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content to more people out there. Odds are you've heard of the terms introvert and extrovert. An extrovert is often categorized as someone who's outgoing, expressive, and often loves to meet new people. While an introvert is seen as someone who's more reserved and often enjoys spending time alone. But what if you're a mix between the two? You enjoy parties, but you're often reserved. You find people interesting, yet can feel exhausted when around them for long periods of time. Well, you may just be a social introvert, someone who's in between the spectrum of introversion and extroversion. To help you find out if you are, here are five signs you're a social introvert. Number one, at parties, you're the quiet one. So you made plans with your friends to go to a party, but when the time comes, you know you'd enjoy yourself more if you'd stayed home and snuggled on the couch with a good movie and a bag of popcorn. But you like your friends, so you go. When you do go to parties, you're the quiet one. It's not that you hate people or parties, but you just don't have an urge to talk to anyone. Maybe you're a bit socially awkward, but you don't care. When someone approaches you, you won't mind continuing the conversation, but you're often not the one to start it. Number two, you don't mind silence in the presence of others. While some introverts may feel the need to fill the silence, you don't mind it at all. You can be socializing with your friends full blast one moment, and then the next, you're enjoying the silence while in their presence. It doesn't seem to bother you at all. Sometimes it's nice to have some quiet time and still enjoy the company of others. Number three, you don't enjoy too much attention. As a social introvert, you often don't feel the need to draw attention to yourself, but you're still fairly comfortable at crowded events or parties. But when it's your birthday party and the whole room looks towards you, you know it's going to be torture when they burst out into singing happy birthday. Retreat, retreat. Number four, you find people interesting and yet exhausting. You enjoy socializing with your close friends and you love people watching but your friends won't expect you to be hitting the club with them every weekend. After a long day of work and study, you just wanna come home and recharge from the emotional drainage of the day. When you're recharged, you don't mind meeting new people and going out with friends, but it's often no more than once or twice a week. And number five, your energy level is connected to your environment. Is social energy affected heavily by your environment? A sold out rock concert with intensely loud music is often not your thing. Overcrowded rooms? Nope. Extremely uncomfortable and draining. A loud and busy checkout line? Not your cup of tea. A cozy evening out at your favorite piano bar with an actual cup of tea? Don't mind if you do. There can be many different types of introverts and extroverts, depending on where exactly you fall on the spectrum. But if you relate to most of these signs, odds are you may just be a social introvert. So did you relate to any of these signs? Which ones could you relate to the most? If you identify as a social introvert, would you say you're slightly more extroverted or introverted? Share with us in the comment section down below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button and share this video with a friend. Subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.